Yeah, yeah I'm yep. coming yeah. right here. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Is it recording? Yes, it is. How old were you when you first knew you liked it? <laughs> oh, I'll just bring it back a little bit. Okay. Perfect. It's perfect. Uh, So I am here um, on the third day of AmpFest with none other than Sheriff Mark Lamb, came all the way from Arizona, who has a state that's actually has been under the microscope ever since November 3rd. We've seen a lot of, a lot of issues come out of that state and a lot of bad actors in the political world, some even ele some that were elected. And um, it's been a hot topic, but um, we'll talk about that and a few other things. So. Um, well, first of all, welcome to Florida. Welcome to the uh, Trump Resort. Pleasure to have you. Beautiful it's, here, by the way. Uh, yeah, I've been here. This place is awesome. Unfortunately, you have to leave at some point, but um, just want to get your thoughts on as a sheriff. Um, you know, ever since um, the Biden administration, if you can even say that with a straight face, has taken power, we've seen crime uh, skyrocket. We've seen crime in cities ever since we started defunding the police. Mm -hmm. um, going up not just 10 20 percent like over 100 percent in some areas and um now that we have all democrats running the show across the from the president down to the senate and down to different states it seems to be that it's all fair game for criminals there's no repercussion there's it's catch and release kind of like we do at the border now i was wondering what your thoughts on that were if you ever see um those cities bringing uh if you ever see those cities ever getting law and order under control in those cities? You know, sadly, that's a great question. I, I've talked about this a lot lately, and sadly, I, I don't know that that's going to shift quite yet. Um, I think these cities still have some deterioration to do. What I think you're going to see is more and more uh, counties, for example, like mine, where people will want to gravitate to places where they can still feel free, feel like it's America, and where crime is low, and I think you're going to see those cities are going to continue to struggle. That's what I foresee happening, and um, it's unfortunate. I mean, I don't wish it upon anything, but bad policies, bad politics for many, many years have created these situations, and you can't expect that to just change overnight. Even if we start electing good people back in there, it's going to take some time. Yeah, and um, like anything, uh, things, especially in the real world, they don't change overnight. It takes a lot of hard work. Um, unfortunately, you have bad apples everywhere, but um, in cities that kind of almost at this point encourage crime, it's, it, it, they don't, it doesn't look like they're going to be getting better in the future at all. And just a real quick point to that is I think one of the issues, and I hope that anybody listening out there, for you, if you have a vote coming up, to me it's, it's your county attorneys, it's your attorneys general of the states. That is really where they're being impacted. You could have a great sheriff who arrests people, good law enforcement. But if you have uh, attorneys on the backside that are letting people go, not holding the people accountable for these things, that's really what's going to hurt the most. And so, please, I think those are probably going to be, I know in the state of Arizona, that's probably the race that I am most focused on is the attorney general race, ensuring that we have somebody that's going to uphold the rule of law. Absolutely. And um, another thing that kind of goes with the rule of law, unfortunately, when you don't have law and order, you have a lot of crimes. You have Arizona's not that not that far from the border. It doesn't border uh, Mexico, but it's it's right there. Um, another thing that has been coming over, just tens and thousands of unvetted illegals, and with that comes the unfortunate thing of human trafficking. That that's a big thing in this country. It's an unfortunate thing, and unfortunately, it hasn't really been resolved. It's still a thing. It's a real thing. It's this. It's one of the most disgustingly profitable things in the world, and. It doesn't look like there's an end to it. Um, I was wondering what your take on that, if there's any major um, human trafficking going on in Arizona. We all know that there are on the, on the southernmost states in, uh, along the border. Um, I was wondering if you can elaborate and put your input on any uh, issues like that going in Arizona. Yeah, when you talk about human trafficking, there's a couple facets to human trafficking. You have what the cartel does. They traffic people over to this side for, for money. The cartel's making as much money off of bodies as they are off of drugs. You have the child trafficking. You have the cartel trafficking 